781 kilograms. Ooh, she large. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, Gareth here, in front of me, is taking me for a little ride on a Triumph T100 Bonneville. I guess I'm doing this as a comparison to the uh, Kawasaki W800, and uh, yes, my immediate first impressions on this bike are that. Um, it's quite heavy. Um, we just went around the corner before and I contacted a manhole cover and it actually the front wheel felt really loose as I went over it and that's my own fault a little bit I'm just getting used to this bike. But um, it's the kind of thing that you're going to come across from time to time and that wasn't terribly um, satisfying to be at somewhat of a lean angle and then hit something like a manhole cover um, so I guess the clutch clutch is quite nice the, uh, the gear shifter is in a comfortable enough position but the bend in the shifter um, I'm just rubbing on my, on my toe a little bit um, that's alright the seat is harder than I was expecting I just thought like It'll be a quite a, a, a soft bike, but it's actually quite hard and um, it actually does feel kind of heavy too, this bike. But I haven't really had a chance to get on the brakes yet. Where like Gareth's taken me. I think he said it's a 15 minute loop and we try and hit the highway and stuff as well. So, so there we go. We'll get on some noise here. Ooh, not used to the steering. Definitely got a lot more power than the Kawasaki did. I haven't asked him how much it costs yet. <laughs> Probably more than the Kawasaki, I'd say. The bars are quite quite a fair distance as well. I'm six foot tall and um, my arms are almost straight when I'm sitting upright on this bike, so yeah, it's um it's also quite a it's quite a big bike. Gonna see you, so from 2000 up again. Little squeeze of struggle and it pulls really nicely. Pretty sweet. an hour and then give it some beans. Okay, that's 50 so let's hit it. This is second gear. Right, we're already at 100, that's pretty great. Plenty of power there. Already I've got a bit of a headwind here and I'm noticing the, uh, the same slight kind of getting blown around um, as I did on the power stuff usually. Not, I don't think it's quite as bad, but I'll see if we can get up to 110 k's an hour and, and see, uh, see how it travels. So. again that I've come from CBR 600 to this so this feels very different to me um, to what I normally ride but yeah as far as comfort goes so far it's not too bad I don't actually like upright cruising type bikes that much 
but I'm still comfortable. I've only been on the bike for five minutes, but <laughs> I'm still comfortable. So I'm gonna try and uh, I hope we get out of this roadway zone before we get off the highway. Yeah, I'm gonna take a bit quicker. No. Oh well. I really did want to see how, how snaky it was at 110. But when I hit 100 there, it felt pretty. Um, like there was a little bit of wobble from the wind, not just a little bit of the. Um, yeah, but realistically, that, that's alright. Sounds pretty brutal. This is just the um, stuff. Oh. Nice. I haven't seen one of them in ages. Um, this is just the uh, stock exhaust, but yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty nice. And some people would want a louder bike. Doesn't really bother me that much. The gauge is easy to read. The switches are all right to use. Um, it looks pretty nice. Like just this view here of these gauges is it's pretty nice. Hmm. I'm not wearing my riding pants, but um I'm not convinced on the seat on this for a cruiser. I mean I I feel just as comfortable on my CBR, which is a fairly comfortable sports bike anyway. I feel just as comfortable on my CBR um, as I do on this right now. So, does that make it uncomfortable as far as cruises are concerned? I don't know. Gearbox makes, like you can hear it clunk, but you can't feel it clunk. It's just, just a really light click with the, with the lever, and then it makes a noticeable sound, like any bike I guess, but so, yeah, it sounds like a pretty hefty clunk, but you can't feel it, it's, it still feels nice and smooth, so that's nice. Quite a reach up to the lever to change down. Again, something to just get used to. Um, yeah. Oh, well, we're nearly back at the shop here. So, in summary, plenty of power. As comfortable as my CBR, which is good. Um, nice and uh, nice and smooth on the gears. Clutch is nice and light. Yeah. Um, I'm yet to ask him the price, but I will do. Cool. <laughs>